Facebook will have uh, some important changes regarding their cookie consent messages and how they work. These changes will be implementing in July to starting from July 2021, more exactly starting from July 6, 2021, um, and will affect users from the EU, but not only. Basically, these changes are related to GDPR and how Facebook um, works with cookies on third-party websites. This means that the Facebook pixel will be affected and to some extent Facebook conversion API will be affected. Let me show you their uh, dedicated page. So this is their dedicated page. Starting on July 6, 2021, we are gradually rolling updates. Anyway, uh, these uh, changes will affect ads reporting and ads um, delivery. Um, they will be uh, implemented for users coming from these parties, these countries, sorry, um, EU, but also some non-EU members. You have a list right here, um, another list right here, which actually those um, countries or territories are not even uh, in the EU, but they belong somehow like uh, Martinique or Guadeloupe. Um, are not in Europe, but are part of the EU and the United Kingdom. Now, the existing cookie consent that Facebook already has will include um, controls for how cookie cookies works on other apps and websites. These, this part is basically, is right here, this part is basically related to how the Facebook pixel will work. And in order for the Facebook pixel to work, you need that the user give, gives their consent on Facebook. So Facebook will show uh, a message asking for consent. If the user says yes, they will be able to process Facebook pixel data as before. If the user says no, they will stop processing uh, the Facebook pixel data from your website, not from Facebook's website. So um, if you have the Facebook pixel and the user says no on this prompt on Facebook, uh, Facebook will stop processing your Facebook pixel data. Uh, it's important to understand, and actually this is um, mentioned right here. Let me find. Anyway, somewhere in the text, Facebook says that this will not replace the obligation that you have to implement your own constant message. So now you have a constant message uh, on Facebook about using the Facebook pixel and a constant message on your own website using uh, related to how you can use uh, the Facebook pixel or Facebook conversion API. Uh, so this message right here, let me give you an example. This kind of um, messages about cookies and uh, marketing and Facebook are still necessary. Facebook doesn't replace this message. They just add an extra layer of consent because they are required by the GDPR um, framework. We will see how, how uh, badly can um, Facebook ads and Facebook ad delivery and Facebook ads reporting can be affected by this change. Before that, let me explain how it um, is um, this related to Facebook conversion API. It is related at some level, but not fully. So conversion API will still work even if the user says no on, um, on this uh, Facebook prompt, but will not be able to use um, data from cookies. So matching will be done using uh, things like email, phone number, name. So the extra stuff that you can send with conversion API, not information about uh, gathered by cookies. This is uh, mentioned somewhere here. Um, so 
However, we will discard data from the EU region user who have not given or revoke consent except where the individual data is both received via conversion API or customer uh, list um, audience tool and matching using contact information such email, mobile number rather than cookie ID or other device identifier. So advanced matching will work for uh, users that said no on this prompt on Facebook regarding cookies, but they will not use information from cookies. It means that most of the time advanced matching will in fact not work because for the vast majority of your traffic, you don't have this kind of information. You, you don't know the email or, a, uh, or the phone number of a simple uh, website visitor. However, for events like purchase, for example, chances are that you will be able to know this information for. So uh, if you use e-commerce and you have advanced matching and uh, your client says no on cookies on the Facebook prompt, but they say yes on your uh, constant message because again, you need this one as well. So if they said yes there and you use advanced matching for uh, the time then when they are visiting your websites like anybody else, you will not be able to send email or phone number. But when they log in or when they buy something, so the purchase event, you will be able to send this kind of information. So advanced matching is affected, but not completely. Uh, the Facebook pixel is completely affected by this uh, uh, type of consent. What it means? It means that Facebook will not be able to uh, report or your um, uh, transaction or your conversions will not be able to retarget everybody. So retargeting is quite uh, affected. I think the most affected part of um, Facebook advertising uh, affected by all these privacy related changes is retargeting, meaning you want to show ads to people that landed on a product and they didn't bought that product. This will be very, very affected. And uh, it also means that Facebook will have to use something else to uh, understand how your ads um, are performing and how to optimize ads delivery. And in fact, they do have something, it's called modeling. And I will make another video about modeling and how it uh, impacts um, advertising on Facebook. But for now, let me give you a list of things that block the Facebook pixel and actually conversion API. So uh, traditionally, the only thing that blocked the pixel was a, um, a Facebook ad blocker. Ad blockers are still affected, uh, effective against the Facebook pixel, but they are not effective against Facebook conversion API. So ad blocker are a problem, but not a big problem. You can fix this problem using conversion API. You have privacy settings in the Facebook uh, in the Facebook account. So if I'm a Facebook user, I can configure my account uh, not to use um, data gathered from other websites, so not to personalize the ads. This is again another uh, thing that can block the Facebook Pixel and conversion API in this case. You have uh, iOS 14.5 privacy update that can again block both the Facebook Pixel data and Facebook conversion API because. Facebook is not allowed to use them or to use get a data gathered by um, those means on a on an Apple device. Now you have your own constant message, which you must have more in most cases, but it's really mandatory if you have traffic from the EU and not only the EU countries, not only Europe. Uh, that's the correct list I show you before this one right here all these countries and territory are under GDPR. So you need a constant, ma um, constant message and this can uh, again block the pixel. And now we have this constant message on Facebook itself. So all these things can block tracking, can block all of them, the Facebook pixel and some of them Facebook conversion API. Because of this, Advertising is changing. Uh, ads reporting is 
very much effective, affected, uh, and we need to adapt. Facebook has a sort of solution. It's uh, called modeling. And uh, if you want to understand more about modeling, watch the modeling video I will publish on this channel. If it's already published, you have a link in the description on, of this video. So this is the new thing regarding privacy from Facebook and watch the modeling related video to understand how things will evolve from here.